Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Visuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these large colorful Hitchell style earrings. They're easy to make and I show step by step so I'm sure you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. You could also ask me anything in the comments, I'll answer to all of your questions. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting the bell button because in this way you will know when I post new tutorials usually twice a week and you will be inspired often. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook and Instagram pages. You could also check my second channel, link in description. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are seven colors of 11 or 100 seed beads and you could use less colors if you want how well instead of using dark red and light red you could use one color of red and instead of using light orange and dark orange you could use only one color of orange instead of yellow and white you could use only white or only yellow and here you could use also black instead of this dark chameleon beads okay so it's up to you and you could use more of the greenish or bluish scale of beads or you could use this one that I'm showing here. These are earring findings in silver color. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches to 0 0.15 millimeters. Don't use nylon thread for this work because it needs to stay hard. You could also use fire line or wildfire if you want. This is size 10 beading needle. You could use size 11 or size 12 if you want. And uh, these are scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I have my thread on my needle and I'm going to pick up 20 of these beautiful red beads. Okay. And now guys, I have 20 beads on my needle, 5 times 4 and I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my thread. I will stick my needle in my mat and here very carefully I'm going to make a knot. And how I make my knot, I make here a loop and I go twice through the loop I've made and I pull really gently and here I will make one more knot okay guys and now I have this and now I will go through some beads guys in this direction Okay, and now I'm going to start the familiar herringbone stitch and I'm picking up two red beads, light red beads this time. And I'm going back through these two dark red beads. Okay, this is how I start the herringbone. Then I go here through one of those red beads and I'm going to pick up the next orange which is the dark orange. Okay. And I pull. Then what I do is that I go back in this direction. Just like this. Then I'm going to take two light orange beads and I will go back through all of those beads in this direction. Okay. And then what I do is that I want to exit in the next two dark red beads. Okay. And I take two light red beads. I will repeat the same thing go back forming my herringbone stitch this is called the herringbone stitch it's really easy 
for those of you that don't know. And I'm taking two orange beads, go back, taking the dark orange beads, then going back in this direction. Okay. Then what I need to take are two light orange beads and I go back and now when I go like this I go through four dark orange beads in one movement because I want to save time guys okay and now continue this repeat this and this step until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll meet you here and we will continue if you forgot how I'm doing it just rewind the video repeat those two steps and I'll meet you at the end okay guys and as I continued beading the same way I showed you I'm here and I just did my ninth herringbone element and now I will make the tenth one and how do I know I work correctly here I need to have two beads left for the last element. I have 20 beads here and at each two of them I attached one of those beautiful herringbone elements that are so easy to make. And now I will show you how I'm making my last one. Okay, I take two of those beautiful red beads. Okay, I went through one of those and then through the other one. Okay, now I'm going here. And I will continue the same way that I showed you. Okay, and now I'm here and my next goal, guys, is to go through those two beads after the dark orange, before the light orange. Okay, and now I'm going to pick up two chameleon beads or whatever dark beads you have and I'm going here through this light orange bead then I'm going in this direction I'm picking up two more of these dark orange beads and I go here then again I go in this direction from the outside to the center and I pick up two of these beautiful dark beads And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up. Okay guys and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last two beads from this row and now I'm exiting through one of my light orange beads and pay attention what I take here. I take a yellow then I take two white beads then I take five yellow beads okay five yellows then a white again then five yellows then two whites and one yellow like I started okay so um Pause this video here and see what I pick up, what I just pick up and pick it up. Okay, if you're ready, we will continue. Okay, as I'm exiting here, I'm going through the other 
orange bead and don't worry that it bends like this at the first step we'll fix it later okay now I go here through the next three beads exiting out of the light orange and I will pick up the same sequence and I'll be back okay I have the same sequence you could pause again and pick it up and I'm going through the other orange and if I can also through those two dark beads and through the following orange okay now I have this and I will pick up again the same sequence okay and I have it here and as I'm exiting through this orange I'm going in this direction okay guys and I will continue this seven more times ten in total and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am where I just finished this row the same way I showed you and now what I want to do next is go here in one of those elements and what I want to do next is go here through those two whites and through the following yellow okay I'm going in the yellow after the whites which means I'm three beads away from the herringbone part here okay here is where my thread is if you don't see it here it is and I'm going to take now one dark red bead one dark orange bead and one dark red bead and I will go in the same place here in this yellow bead that is next to the whites or the third one after the herringbone part okay now what I want to take next are two of these beautiful dark beads okay two of them and I'm going here in the third yellow bead the yellow after the two whites in the same place I showed you before okay you see where I am I'm exiting out of the third bead counting, counting from this herringbone part here and now what I need is one dark orange bead dark red bead sorry and one dark orange bead and one dark red bead okay this is what I have on my needle and what I want to do is go in the same place in this yellow after the white beads okay then what I need to take is another two of these beautiful chameleon beads or whatever dark beads you have and I'm going here in the third bead of my loop that I did in my previous row then what I need to take is a dark orange dark red sorry dark orange and a dark red okay here it is and I go here in the same place through the third bead okay okay guys and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay and I'm here exiting out of this yellow that is next to the white and then what I want to do is go through two more seed beads in this direction okay now you see where I'm exiting through the third yellow bead counting from the white and what I need is one dark bead and I'm going here through the orange and 
and what I need is one more dark red bead and I'm going in the same place through the counting one two three yellow beads and go here in this direction through all of them Then I go through these two dark beads and then I go through the following three yellow beads. You see where I'm going and pull. Okay and now I take one dark red bead, just one. I go here through the dark orange in the center and then I take one dark bead and I go through all those three yellow beads okay and I pull tight and fix my work a little bit then what I do is that I go through these three, through these two, sorry, dark beads. Oops, I went too far. Okay. Now what I want to do is go again through these three yellow beads. Take one dark bead, go through the central orange and take one dark red bead and go through the three, sorry, through the three yellow beads before the white bead. Okay. And guys, I will continue these three steps until the end of this row. If you forgot how I'm doing it, just rewind the video and repeat this everywhere and I'll be back. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last bead from this row. Again, I'm adding it going through three yellow beads in this direction. Okay, and I pull. Now I have this row ready. Okay, and I want to do an additional row. Although it's not obligatory, you could directly finish your work like this, adding the ear ring finding, but I will continue some more. Okay, I'm going here in these yellow beads. And I come up to this white bead at the top and what I want to do is skip it and go through the following two. And when I skip it, I don't go through it. I pop it up a little bit and I pull the thread. You see how it goes out a little bit. I like this effect, this new thread pad. And what I want to do next is take three dark beads, chameleon beads and I'm going here through these last two yellow beads and when I pull I have this now I skip this white bead like I did before I go through the following two yellows I push the Y a little bit and I pull and I will repeat this until the end of this row Okay, I'll show you a few more steps. Two dark beads. Go through these two yellows. Skip the one that's on the top. The white one. Pull it a little bit. And pull again. Okay. Then again I'm taking three. Like this. I go through the last two yellows 
I pull, skip the white on the top, go through the next two yellows, pull the white and pull the thread. Okay, and I will continue this, guys, until the end of this row. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you how to attach your earring findings. If you forgot how I'm doing something, rewind and repeat this from here. See you in a while. Okay, guys, and I'm here where I need to add my last three beads from this row. And I'm adding it here in this place. And I'm exiting out of this white top bead. Okay. And now I'm going to attach my earring finding and I take it and I take a seed bead, my earring finding and a seed bead. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. And I'm going back in circle through the white bead. Okay. And I pull. And now I'm going to reinforce my work here by going several times around it. Okay, and now guys, I'm going to find a place to make a knot. Let's say I'm making it here okay and what i do is that i make a loop and i go once and i go second time through this loop of meat and i make sure i'm between those two beads where i started my knot from and I go through some beads in this direction and then I cut my thread. Okay guys, and now my large colorful earring is ready. Okay guys, and now my large colorful earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button. And in this way, you will know when I make new tutorial, usually twice a week and you will be inspired often. Down there in description, you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to all my social networks, where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook and Instagram pages. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips link again in description. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.